the flanker. It's that annoying bug you want to kill, that always seems to slip away laughing to itself every time you grab the can of Exterminator. But you can't ignore it either, because unlike a scout, the damn thing will roll up and sting you when you aren't paying attention, and unless you get rid of it, you can be sure more pain is on its way. The flanker is a unit that is opportunistic. It's capable of dealing damage, but doesn't focus on volley power. It nibbles at the edges of the enemy position, supporting the advance of your battle line, and making it more difficult for the enemy to access your flank. By having a presence on the wings of your line, not only does it help to deny the area it is in, but it forces your opponent to be cognizant of their unit facing at all times, or risk fire from an exposed side or rear. It's dangerous enough that it cannot be ignored, and it's hardy enough to not be terrified of engaging, whether that be from armor or other defensives. This combination will goad your enemy to attempt to turn and swat it, and such an action should open a weakness in the enemy position for your cavalry or battle line to exploit. As such, it performs exceptionally well in pressing an established advantage to devastating effect, typically culminating in rolling up an enemy's flank or allowing for a line-shattering breach. This role also serves well as a secondary scouting or jamming unit due to its natural oblique positioning relative to your own line. This unit is not a linchpin of your position, so if it is compromised, your unit should still remain intact. But it also means it's vulnerable to overextension, and the demands of its role usually precludes the ability to take much punishment. An isolated flanker will likely get wheeled upon and annihilated, so it will want to remain within support range of your battle line. Doubly so because it will not typically possess the firepower to cripple opposing units it is much better at pouncing on already weakened targets. Additionally, the flanker almost always cedes the weight advantage to the enemy, so duels are similarly outside its scope. As a team roleplayer, it is also subject to win more syndrome. That is, it won't be able to hold ground or turn the tide very often, so frequently finding yourself in even or negative value positions will marginalize its power rather quickly. Because the flanker role relies upon speed, as you move up in difficulty tiers, it will likely accumulate risk from weight differential, and you only have a maximum of 8 mech slots to spend. You can use a vehicle for this role, but you'll probably be making a sacrifice of armor or weaponry to do so. Remember that you don't necessarily need a flanker on each end of your line, and if you are running a strategy that relies on range, you may not even need to fill this role at all. However, the more aggressively you push your line into close contact with your opponent, the more effective the flanker will become perhaps crossing over into backstabbing territory. It makes the enemy uncomfortable by virtue of its positioning and firepower, and helps to finish off priority or weakened units. And of course, while your line is moving into position, it can double as scout, utility, or fire support, depending on loadout. Maximizing the potential of the flanker does rely on being able to read the terrain before battle lines close completely. While the unit is fast, it is generally too dangerous and time-consuming to rotate to the opposite flank if deployed incorrectly. However, the flanker is still versatile enough that it remains useful even on the wrong side of the battlefield. So how to build a flanker? Well, it starts with speed. 5.8 is the absolute lowest I would go for a unit in this mold, and you'll likely find that 6.9 just feels smoother. You'll want to have the ability to move from cover to cover, and then to dart in, strike, and get out in the appropriate situation. Remember that this unit is not focused so heavily on alpha damage, so I also strongly recommend some defensive equipment of some sort, whether that be AMS, ECM, stealth, damage reduction gear, or even all of the above. Weapons are still important though, and which ones you choose will be related to the other weapons scattered amongst your company. Missiles are probably your default choice for this unit type, as there will likely be holes to exploit, and your presence on the flank will help concentrate damage. I do like to carry at least one weapon with some hitting power on a flanker though, like a medium bore autocannon or expulsed laser. It's helpful to have a sign saying, DEATH HERE, to discourage your enemy from closing in on you. Overall, I find the flanker to be an essential unit for aggressive tacticians, and too specialized for a dedicated inclusion in more passive playstyles. Yet, it's also the role that can be most easily combined with one of the others, provided you can afford the engine weight.